Following my video about how to set up a Plex server on a Ugreen NAS, a viewer requested a Jellyfin installation walkthrough for the same device. While the Jellyfin installation process proves slightly simpler, Samsung TV users should take note of one limitation. For those of you who aren't already familiar with Jellyfin, it's a free open source media system that enables you to manage and stream your own movies and TV shows to various devices. It's an alternative to proprietary software like Plex. It works in almost exactly the same way as Plex, but with some minor differences and some little idiosyncrasies that you have to work through to get it working. For newcomers to both NAS devices like my Ugreen DXP2800 and creating your own private media server, here's a quick overview of how it works. The first step is to create a media server using your movie and TV collections saved to your NAS. Then you install the Jellyfin server software to enable you to remotely stream your libraries to different playback devices. The final step is to connect your playback devices by creating a Jellyfin account to watch your content. Check out my previous video about setting up a Plex media server for more information on media servers in general. The very first step is to download and install Docker if you don't already have it installed on your Ugreen NAS using UGOS, either via a browser or the official UGOS app on your computer. As covered in my previous video, Docker is a program that enables you to manage different applications on your Ugreen NAS. In very simple terms, think of Docker like an app with its own app store of different programs you can install, called containers. Containers are self-contained programs that perform a task. Using a template called an image, you create a container. This includes creating the Jellyfin server container, which will enable you to stream content from your NAS to playback devices. Ugreen's UGOS makes it very simple to install Jellyfin on your NAS, and includes one less step compared to Plex. The first step is to create locations on your NAS where you want to store your movie and TV show video files. For efficiency and good storage housekeeping, start by creating a Jellyfin folder. Within that folder, you'll want to create at least two or three folders depending on what media you intend to stream. The first and most important folder is config. This is the location where Jellyfin will store all the necessary files to enable the server to work. Next, in my example, I created a folder for movies and another folder for TV shows. The next step is now to create the Jellyfin server container on your NAS. Install and open Docker and go to the Image Library tab and search for Jellyfin. The image is basically the template with a set of instructions for the NAS to install the Jellyfin container. Go to the local images and double click the Jellyfin image to create the Jellyfin container. Next, scroll down to Storage Pool and connect the config folder you just created from your NAS here by assigning the directory. You can launch the Explorer by clicking the folder icon. Next, click Add and do the same for the movies and TV folders. Next, click Confirm. Finally, click the little quick access icon. Click the IP address to launch a browser to begin the process of instructing Jellyfin how to find and manage your media content. The next stage is to tell Jellyfin where to direct playback apps to find the media content. Choose your language and click Next. Create your user credentials for Jellyfin and click Next. Skip Media Library setup for the moment and we'll come back to do this. Choose your preferred metadata language and click Next. This will determine what language your library will display for the plot, review and other details associated with your movies and TV shows. Leave remote access settings to default unless you don't intend to access your media library away from your home network. Click Finish.
Next, you'll have to log in with your new credentials and create links to the media on your NAS for playback through the Jellyfin apps and via your web browser. Click the three lines to access the Jellyfin media server settings. Click Libraries to access the drop-down menu. Click on the plus sign above the Add Media Library to direct Jellyfin to your media content on your NAS. Each media type will be divided into categories, so you'll be creating and naming your movies and TV libraries separately. Choose Content Type and then give it a display name that will appear in the Jellyfin Playback User Interface. Click on Folders and choose the directories you created on your NAS. The Ugreen line of NASes support hardware transcoding, moving the heavy lifting of converting your media files into a format for playback, rather than having the more resource-intensive software approach. See my previous video for more information on hardware transcoding. In the Settings menu, click on Transcoding. For Ugreen NASes, select the Intel QuickSync to tell Jellyfin to use the Intel N100 CPU. Check all the codec types you want Jellyfin to transcode from in the list below. And then you're done. And now you can save your settings and enjoy your new Jellyfin powered media server. To avoid duplicating your media library when migrating from Plex or another media server, simply point Jellyfin to your existing media folders on your NAS. All you have to do is change the directory to point at the existing media libraries on the NAS instead by clicking on the folder icon and choosing a different destination. Jellyfin will use the container directory information so you won't have to change anything in Jellyfin. If you have a compatible phone and smart TV, you can also download and use the official Jellyfin apps. However, the one noticeable standout is Samsung, who don't support Jellyfin in their app store for TVs. Once installed, you'll need to use your IP address and port number for your Jellyfin container on your NAS. It can be found by clicking on the quick access icon in the container or from your browser when using Jellyfin on web. I personally had issues with my Jellyfin credentials at the time of making this video, but thankfully Jellyfin supports Quick Connect. All you have to do is choose Quick Connect to get a code. Then on your logged in server profile, Go to Profile on a web browser and then use Quick Connect and enter the code. If you don't want to use your browser for playback on your computer, you can always use the official Jellyfin desktop app. Simply download the app from the Jellyfin website and use Quick Connect to get it set up. Thank you for watching and as always it would be great if you were to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content on personal technology and the connected home.